The CES is on at the moment. Um, we've covered that before. We're not going to go into the whole show or anything. But there was one product that was released by Lenovo that caught my eye, which was uh, the Yoga Book 9i. Always these interesting uh, names that they give these things. But the reason why it kind of popped out of me, initially it didn't because um, when um, when they first showed it, it was a dual screen uh I wouldn't even – like it's it, it was a laptop form factor, but because both sides were a screen, I was like, "What? what is this? Like uh, is it just screens to watch or whatever? But then um, when they explained that it also was like you buy this thing, but you also get a keyboard and a stand and – um, uh, I think a pen was included, a mouse was included and the stand sort of props up the two screens in a way where you end up having a dual screen set up. It suddenly became an interesting complete package, um, like a different form factor to the traditional stuff that you would normally see because um, you could then um, utilize those two screens in, a, in very different ways. And the fact that they also introduced some functions into the bottom touch screen so that you could effectively kind of turn it into a keyboard and, um, you know, touchpad and all that sort of stuff was really interesting. And I thought, oh, well, you know, at least, you know, there's some attempts here to try and do something different because the thing that kind of stood out to me for this device is that, it was like a portable multiple monitor setup as opposed – like I, you wouldn't normally have just a laptop that you'd bring with you everywhere where you could – I mean, yeah, you might have a destination where you could plug it in at a dock. But this was truly like you could take it somewhere, put it somewhere completely independently in multiple locations and set up a multiple monitor setup, which I just thought was an interesting thing to to try. Um, it was something uh, something slightly different than what we've normally seen. Look, I, I do think it's innovative and I, I do think um, that, you know, it, it's a nice piece of hardware, but it's funny to hear you describe it, you know, as a sort of what mobile monitor set, you know, or as I just thought of it as a mobile desktop, you know, two monitor desktop, you know, carrying around a separate keyboard, <laughs> carrying around a stand. Look, I think these things are nice and I think there are use cases for them. Uh, you know, as I was saying to you before, Ben, my friend got his flip phone out the other day and we were able to to all view it. The group of us there were able to view it all with ease, you know, and you realise you can share and see things on, on, on a bigger screen. And I think this Lenovo uh, does that really well and I think it's got a use case for some people, so good on them. Uh, is it something that will stick around or get a really wide audience? I think we've already seen enough in hardware over the last 20 years to know that it's a niche a niche product, but a great product nonetheless. So I, I do like the yoga-like uh, uh, range. They're flexible. The screens have always been great. So, uh, you know, I'm sure someone will find good use for it. I would like to know what its battery life is like. They didn't mention that. With those really hot 13th gen Intel chips. Oh, God. Like, it was at like 150 watts of power draw or something I heard this morning. Will, will when your I was monitors like... melt before uh, the battery <laughs> runs out? Well, you know, I'm curious to know. <laughs> Absolutely. This will probably be another topic for another time, but um, the, the proliferation of so many devices now kind of highlights that you really need to be switched on for picking what you actually need to use as opposed to what's marketed to you as what you need um and i'll use the classic example of the apple ecosystem in that um you know they're they're saying um oh but you've got a phone and um you've got a laptop yeah you need an ipad too you know like it's a nice complementary device to your laptop you'll, you'll be a lot more productive with one doesn't mean you have to actually get them um and i see i see this type of device as well because like you see and it's nice and shiny and does all these you know new setups and everything but again do you actually need it oh uh, look I, I think we've seen a, a, a couple of interesting innovations that never really took off one i think was was it the acer touchscreen desktop that was kind of like the imac but with a touchscreen that in the end nobody ever touched the screen and even if you did then all you did was smear the screen that you were viewing and i think the other one was my uh, hp uh, flip back which folds over into a tablet and has a touch screen but after playing with it for the first day and loving it never touch the screen again <laughs> the tried and true traditional stuff always wins out in the end <laughs> absolutely it does i mean maybe it's force of habit but the reality is is that 
you know, you're either using a keyboard and looking at a screen or you're, you're you know, touching that screen as a tablet. Uh, I don't think people need a tablet and a laptop in one. 